Hey everyone, it's your girl Tara Michelle. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Opinionated Scents. Our safe space to discuss all things fragrance, whether we like them or not. Today, we are going to be discussing new fragrances I've added to my collection. So if you're interested to see what I chose, let's jump right into the video. To start the video off, I have two fragrances to talk to you guys about from the House of Dossier. You know I love this house and I love my partnership with them. So they sent these fragrances over to me. For anyone who doesn't know, Dossier is an inspiration house that also makes their own fragrances now. And they sent these fragrances over for me to test them out and to talk to you guys about them. Um, I paid for plenty myself before they ever knew I was a blip in the fragrance community. This first one here is Spicy Vanilla, okay? And when you get this, you're gonna get a card that's gonna give you information about the oil concentration, what it's inspired by. This one happens to be inspired by Tom Ford's Noir Eau de Parfum. You guys know I'm not a fan of the House of Tom Ford. However, the fragrances that I do own, like my inspiration fragrance for Tom Ford's Lost Cherry and Tom Ford's Metalik, absolutely came from Dossier because I prefer their versions over the original, especially when it comes to longevity, staying power, projection. That's definitely gonna um, give, I'm definitely going to give the win to dossier every time so spicy vanilla has notes in the top of nutmeg black pepper and lemongrass middle notes of rose patchouli and orris and base notes of vanilla amber and opopanax now from my memory because i have smelled tom ford nor before i'm not the type of person who says i don't like something if i haven't tried it i did not enjoy that fragrance see from the atomizer this smells amazing but when you spray it out, it is super intense. It is super loud um, in, in the best way. Like this version here smells amazing, but I could never, ever wear it. It does smell amazing, but I cannot wear it. I just feel like this is too much for me. It is a, a different level of spicy and it feels like citrus and just like, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of citronella. That is what I'm smelling, like the citronella candles with like some uber spice. And to me, I don't want to smell like that. Um, but my eight-year-old, eight-year-old, please forgive me, Rue. My nine-year-old son, who, by the way, just became a published author. For all of you who are on my Instagram, you know that. So proud of my baby. The name of his book is called The Elemental Battle. It should be available on Amazon soon. Um, but... He wore it and it smelled amazing on him. So I'm going to say that this is probably a masculine fragrance, but you know, you can wear what you want, when you want, how you want, where you want. No judgment. It is powerful though. What a potent fragrance. The next fragrance I want to talk to you guys about from the House of Dossier is Spicy Vetiver. So the other was Spicy Vanilla. This is Spicy Vetiver. This is inspired by Hermes's Terre de Hermes Eau de Toilette. So the top notes are orange, grapefruit, and pink pepper. Middle notes, black pepper, vetiver, and geranium. And baby, you get the geranium. It's geranium everywhere in here. And then the base notes are patchouli, oak moss, and benzoin. Definitely a masculine fragrance. But, you know, it's just, man, it smells so good. It also smells like most, <laughs> I've said this before, and this is why I don't do a lot of male fragrance reviews. A lot of their fragrances smell the same to me. Um, when you're talking about all the different houses, especially YSL, though, YSL creates a lot of fragrances in their men's line that smell very similar to me. This is that good, simple DNA. I love it. Any man that wears it's going to smell good. It's clean. It's masculine. But with that sex, I love the note of vetiver. I find it to be very sexy, especially if it's not used too much. Like, you know, if you got 80% vetiver in there, that might not be my vibe. But I like spicy vetiver a lot. This one, I um, 
can tolerate more when I spray it into the air. Spicy vanilla just took over the room and I thought I could not breathe, which for those of you who love the beast mode fragrances, that's what you're going to be looking for. That's going to be right up your alley. So thanks again, Dawg Safe, for sending these fragrances over. It's always a pleasure. I will be finding something to do with these as a giveaway because you guys know I'm super feminine. I do not wear masculine fragrances, but I did want to talk to the fellas out there. If you like Time Forward but don't want to pay the prices, get a hold of Dossier. Check their website out, dossier.co. They are also available on walmart.com. And I'm, you can't beat the price for the quality. You just cannot. I recently purchased five new fragrances from Le Monde Gourmand, aka the Urban Outfitter fragrances. And this first one is called Coco Mystery. You guys, the fluid is black. The juice is actually black or a very dark tint that looks black. Um, had to get it. I'm partial to black. The slimming, sleek, sexy, tough vibe of black is just, I love a black bottle. I love the black juice. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I love a black, little black dress, a black heel, a black purse. It doesn't matter. You know, black stockings, whatever. You can always add black to something and just class it up. And that's what I love about it. Now, do not spray this on your clothes. You guys know I am a clothes sprayer. I think on the website it even says, due to the dark tint, do not spray directly on clothes. So for this one, I will have to wear it on my skin. But this is like a seven wear type of situation for me. I can I usually get about seven wears out of these bottles. They used to be $15 to $18. Now they're $25, you know. Um, I don't know. If we hear it, Fragcom talking about it, bump that up probably, or maybe it was COVID. You know, everybody's blaming everything on COVID, but I'm telling you now, these are fun. I like these for date night. This is not something that you're going to wear to work and expect it to still be on you by the time you come home. So if you wear it to work, you can absolutely expect to top up once or twice that day, to be honest. So this one is nice. So the notes in here are toasted coconut in the top, the mid is African ginger and jasmine, and then the base notes are white musk and sandalwood. That African jasmine with their white musk baby is a lot for me. This almost pulls super animalic with the musk and you know I don't like that. If it smells like civet or if it smells like it's just coming from some type of animal, it's not a vibe for me. So I'm going to test it on my skin because on the stick it was loud, on the atomizer, and it's familiar. I swear I've smelled this before, but this is not normally how I like my white musk. I like clean, soft, and feminine musk fragrances, not the loud ones. So again, that is Coco Mystery. I'll be back to tell you if I like it on skin and about the longevity and projection. But again, I'm not expecting more than three to four hours of projection with this or even staying power, even if you're close enough to me. These are top uppers. I think this is what you're going to wear on date night when you know all you need is a good three or four hours before it doesn't matter what you're wearing anymore, if you if you know what I'm saying. Next up from the house of Le Mans Gourmand, we have Creme Vini. You guys, this one is absolutely amazing. Amazing. So the notes for this joker, top notes, creamy apricot, mid notes, jasmine petals, and the base notes, brown, sugar, and amber. Come on, does it not sound absolutely divine? When I saw the notes, it was instant, okay, blind buy. I hadn't heard anybody talking about it. Pretty sure there have been people talking about it, but I don't look these videos up. When I'm only spending $25, on, I don't really care about another person's review. I just, I just don't. Maybe I should, I just don't. I have fun with this house. I have videos where I've talked about doing hauls. I'm never disappointed because Again, when I was purchasing purchasing them at first, they were $15 to $18. Again, with the $25 price, I'm not expecting much. I'm expecting to have fun. For me, the whole entire line is for date nights. Whether it's a summer date, spring date, fall date, it doesn't matter. I don't expect more than three to four hours from this. So I'm not trying to make them an everyday, all day sense. I have worn some of them all day and I definitely topped up twice at least. So the morning spray before I left the house, either right before or right after lunch, and then probably again, right before going home if I was going somewhere else. So again, you get what you pay for. These smell way beyond amazing for the price point, but you cannot expect beast mode 12 hour performance for $25. But this thing smells great. And for Netflix and chill or a date night that's going to have you back home or 
back wherever um, within that four hour mark, maybe all day. I would much rather spend twenty five dollars for my, you know, date night fragrances and spend more on the ones that are actually going to last me all day. That's just me personally. So if you aren't stuck on just purchasing niche all the time, you want to have some fun and you want to smell great while doing it. I'm telling you, Le Monde Gourmand is the way to go. They're fun. I love them. Creme Vanille is a banger. Super sexy. Oh my goodness. Next up from the house of Le Monde Gourmand, we're going to be talking about Meringue Magique. Now, I want to talk to you guys about the notes. The top note to this is Orange Bigorade. I'm going to have to clearly look that up. The mid note, Brazilian Gardenia. And then the base notes are Whipped Cream and Praline. Let me tell you what I get though, because now what I get when I first spray it is this super just loud vanilla extract. Like you trying to get people lit with the chocolate chip cookies. And so it smells like a bunch of cocoa powder or cacao and vanilla extract. That's all I got. And I was overwhelmed. I'm like, geez, this is too boozy for me. Like I like a cool little rum note, little brandy note, but not that astronomical. Then it starts to vibe like whatever it is they put in eggnog. Like you get that Christmas eggnog vibe with a little bit of what do y'all put in there? Brandy rum? I don't know because I don't like eggnog, but that's what I get. And then it starts to smell a little bit like someone soaked some, some graham crackers, like a graham cracker crust was made with a lot of booze and for, for some kind of pie or something. But it's the graham cracker crust soaked in booze for me, not the actual whatever that crust is going to be for. Um, and then it dies down after about two minutes, somewhere between two and five minutes. And it becomes like this fizzy orange, still cacao based thing. This is wild. I do not know why they named it this. I get the magic because I, I can't tell whether I'm coming or going with this. It is fun. I think it's perfect for the holidays. I think this would have been great if you're a candy corn lover for you to be wearing on Halloween while you passed out candy corn or went from house to house looking for more of it. I think it's going to be great for people who like pumpkin, which I don't, but pumpkin and Thanksgiving and pies and stuff like that and eggnog um, and maybe for Christmas too. This is interesting. It wouldn't be a repurchase for me, but it's fun. And interesting, to say the least. Still sticking with Le Monde Gourmand, as I do have five fragrances, so there's one more after this. This one is called Rum Tropique. Baby, let me tell you something. They have a Paradise Tropique that I absolutely love as well for spring and for summer. Ooh, child, the rum in this is perfect. It's not overbearing. It smells so good. There's also like this clean linen meets fruit just a small amount of booze vibe. Oh my God. Okay. The top note is toasted coconut. The mid note is green pineapple and milk. And then the base notes are white caramel and rum. Y'all, it's delicious. This is one of the best fragrances I've ever smelled from this house. And I have quite a few that I love. Rum Tropique is sexy. It's versatile. I'm still only wearing these for date night. I'm just the, the projection longevity, the performance of this is not worthy of me fighting with it and topping up every two to three hours or three to four hours um, at work. I'm just not doing that. This is so sexy for a day and night, child. Just the notes. Oh, it's so good. It's just so good. That green pineapple note is absolutely fire. I absolutely love this one. I think from this haul, this is my favorite. Surprisingly, I didn't, I didn't know. I'm not gonna say I didn't think it would be, but this is fantastic. Last from the house of Le Monde Gourmand is Laït de Coco. I've talked about this one before in my haul. So I can find that video. I'll put it up on whichever side it's going to appear. This is my second bottle. Laït de Coco is the bomb. If you're someone who loves to wear fragrance to bed, you know I don't. Like to give my nose and skin and clothes and my sheets a break from fragrance. And that's what I do at night. So Laït de Coco is perfect for that. Netflix and then chilling and, and, you know, just smelling good and enticing this might do to want to be all up in your neck, just enticing them to just, you know, want to smell you. The top note, bergamot, mid note, vanilla praline and base note, creamy coconut. This comes across, you know, sometimes very like milky and lactonic to me. And I'm going to attribute that to the creamy coconut, but this is, uh, it's sweet. It's pretty. 
it comes across a little floral. I don't know why. But I really, really like this one. And it's so much fun to me. And I'm going to tell you this. It's a huge compliment. Gets her. And also for me, I only ever get that like creamy, lactonic type of vibe on my skin. I've never gotten it from like the clothes. It's when it's on me that it turns into that. So that could be just my body chemistry. I don't want you to chase this one if you're just solely looking for milky or lactonic. I don't want to misguide you in that way. But it does pull that way for me. The next fragrance is from the House of Coach. And I've had this since it came out. Baby, let me tell you something. Love at first sniff. This is Coach New York Love. So I haven't heard anybody talking about this, but it is rather new. Um, I don't really hear people doing a lot of talking about Coach. I have turned some people on to Coach who now get it because of like Coach Floral Blush. I think the original Coach New York, because I love the entire line. The Coach Rose that was recently, you know, that recently came out. This one here smells like Pez candy. I'm going to assume that, man, let me tell you. I sprayed this joker on and said, this, this, this was made for me. You guys know I'm a fruity girl. I love fruity fragrances, juicy fruity fragrances. This gives me that. So the notes in here, top note, wild strawberry. Middle note, red rose. Base note, cedar wood. That's what it said on Fragrantic anyway. I'm pretty sure there's more than three things in there. This is juicy. It definitely has a beautiful like rose petal vibe to it with the, with the greenness of the stem as well. Not overbearing. The cedar wood does not come in on my skin until later. Like it truly is a base note performing um, note for me. This smells like strawberry pears candy. You remember the pears dispensers? Haven't had them since I was an adult. This smells like that. I had another fragrance once before that reminded me of that. But as soon as I sprayed this, I said, oh, you got to be kidding me. I want a full bottle so freaking much. I don't know what made me purchase this fragrance. I think it's been out for a little while, not too long. I think it's still relatively new. But this is from Dolce & Gabbana. Everybody's talking about Devotion, but this one came out before that. And this one is called Q, I believe. I like the packaging. I do. Um, slide it out. I almost dropped it. I'm sitting Indian style, so my legs caught it. Yeah, it's called Q. And so here's the thing with this one. Um, let's go over the notes. So Sicilian lemon, blood orange, and jasmine in the top. Oh, that's a really direct shot. Atomizer too. I like him to open up and miss me more. Middle notes, cherry and heliotrope. And then the base notes, musk and cedar. What a beautiful citrus fragrance. For spring and summer, I would say absolutely. This is just like, this is in their wheelhouse. You know, they have the whole light blue line. So, you know, they're going to do a citrus really good. But nothing about this wows me. If you just like pretty for the sake of being pretty, I don't even know what the price point is on this, but I'm pretty sure you could find something similar for cheaper and probably that will have more longevity and better performance. I hate to say that, but Dolce & Gabbana with their citruses are not known for staying power. And this one is just, this could have absolutely been a flanker to the light blue line, which they don't ever need any more flankers in, by the way. I decided to purchase three fragrances from Heretic or Heretic, however they pronounce it. Um, I got the, I ordered the Dirty Vanilla, but it was canceled by Sephora because it sold out. So I got a refund, but I did get Bergamusk and I think Dirty Coconut. So I'm going to start with Bergamusk and let's do these notes. Um, this is just a little, whatever this is, 10 ml or, um, in the top you have lime verbena, bergamot, lavender, regular lime. It doesn't say regular, but just lime, um, and thyme. And then in the middle, you have jasmine and cedar. The base notes are musk and bretolide and sandalwood. This smells like an old fashioned, old school, um, luxurious like body cream that I would expect. Uh, like, I, I don't know, older women who may not wear perfume and they just like to smell like their body lotion. Um, it, it very much to me smells dated but also a little modern chic i know that doesn't make any sense but it's the it's it's you know 
these herbally super clary sage thyme rosemary ish I, that's just not my vibe so to me while this is if you like a clean fragrance and that's what you're going for i mean you like the note of thyme this is going to be right up your alley very potent on the citrus this is a plant-based company that's right. They're like, so for all of you who, you know, people who care about the plant-based or the vegan or the cruelty-free and stuff, check out Heretic or Heretic. Um, and, you know, if, if what I described is a vibe for you, um, yeah, <laughs> try it, I guess. Last but not least, we're going to talk about Dirty Coconut from Heretic or Heretic. Um, so again, with like the little travel. So the top notes are vanillin which gives you the little like scientific symbol. So I'm guessing it's a, you know, molecule or whatever. Uh, and cedar. Then the middle notes are coconut and CO2 extracts. The base notes are sandalwood, vanilla absolute, and ambertone. So I did not like this one. This one to me pulled very musky, that loud animalic type of musk that I'm just not a fan of. I'm going to give it a Try again, have it worn on my skin. Yes, yes, it's 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 wild to me how loud the musk is in this. And as I'm looking at the notes, where's the musk? Where's the animalic musk? It's not on this list, but I pick it up. Eventually it dies down, but to me, for this, I need a really creamy, rich, sweet coconut body butter. Um, or or cream or lotion of something to tone this down. It's so that it, it just pulls like so musky to me. Like the musk I don't like. It doesn't stink. And again, if you can combine it with something else sweet, some kind of coconut body spray, something to add sweetness and dial back the intensity of what I'm pulling as musk. And for it to say dirty coconut, I feel it. I feel it. The dirty is definitely that animalic type of musk. Um, I just don't know what in these notes is is doing that. Let's see. Oh, what is CO2 extracts? I, you know what? I have some research to do for a couple of things in this um, haul. But guys, um, <laughs> that is my haul. Tell me if you've tried any of these things and what you think. Do not forget to download the Opulence Radio app today so you can always check out my radio show on Mondays and Wednesdays. I post about that in my community tab here, as well as on Instagram and my Facebook page. Thank you so much to the Terror Squad for all of your support. I am right now tre trending as the highest um, uh, listen to show on Opulence Radio right now. And I appreciate that. I don't know by how much, but there are some other great shows on there other than mine as well. There's Kiss the Sky and there's the Raw or Savagely Raw Morning Show. So just check it out. Download the, the app. And if you have any questions about when my show is on, you can always hit me up at opinionatedsense.com. You can also send your questions for me to talk about or answer on my show to opinionatedsense at gmail.com as well. Thank you for spending time with me today. It's always a pleasure, you guys. Thank you again to Dossier. Do not forget to click the like button, subscribe to my channel, select the notification bell, share me across all your social media platforms. Come talk to me in the comments. You know I love talking to you guys. And until then, bye.